Okay, today we're going to be playing case 58, uh, an abdominal pain presentation uh, with poor appetite in a child. So I'm going to begin the case by going to the patient tab, and I'm going to choose to talk to the patient. So child has been experiencing severe abdominal pain, referred to the emergency department. Okay. How long has the pain been there for? Pain started yesterday and has been getting worse since then. Where is the pain now? The pain's located in the lower abdomen. Does anything make it worse or better? Nothing specific. Constant. Has there been any fever? Any diarrhea or vomiting? Where is the pain right now? Just in the lower abdomen. Okay. Does Brian take any medications? Nothing. Any allergies to medication? Okay. Who lives at home? Has anyone been ill recently? Okay, several classmates with a stomach bug. Okay, now we can go to putting the patient on a monitor and we'll get some vital signs which look normal initially. And we can choose to go into some specifics around the exam so there's no signs of upper airway infection. The neck is supple. Cardiac exam is normal without any murmurs. There are no focal lung sounds concerning for pneumonia. And the abdomen shows right lower quadrant tenderness with some guarding, no rebound. So that would be concerning for uh, an acute peritoneal process such as appendicitis. We do want to make sure there's no evidence of testicular torsion. And there's not. And we want to make sure there's no rash, and there is none. Good. Okay, well, we are going to put together a differential because we don't need to stabilize anything in this case. Um, so I would put appendicitis as my leading diagnosis. This can also be gastroenteritis. And Crohn's disease is a possibility. Meckles. Diverticulum is a possibility. Constipation is always a possibility. Okay, so we've built our differential. Now we'll go on to some investigations. And I'll want to choose some lab work. So I've got a basic chemistry panel and a complete blood count. I want to check his urine to make sure that there's no signs of infection. So the chemistry panel looks good. The white blood cell count is elevated, consistent with an acute infection. And the urine doesn't show any evidence of infection. So at this point, I would want to um, treat him with some pain medication. So we'll give him some acetaminophen. And I want to do some investigations here. So let's do some imaging. And we can do an ultrasound of the abdomen. And that abdominal ultrasound shows an enlarged appendix, non-fluid filled. That would be consistent with appendicitis. So I think that confirms our diagnosis. We're going to need a surgeon to help us, so we'll consult general surgery. And based on the ultrasound findings, the patient can be sent to the OR for an appendectomy, or they'll meet them in the pre-op area. So the last thing I would want to do is start some antibiotics. Typically give some cefoxetin, and we need to put in an IV if we're going to do that. Complete it. Good. All right. At this point, I think we're done. So I'll give him the diagnosis of appendicitis, and we will prep him for the operating room. And the patient off. Finish. Shut me.